Up on that say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me Never been the one get Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Uh, today I decided to film Uh, Kim Kardashian's Met Gala look Uh, for 2018 And you guys, I'm pretty sure that Kim Kardashian slayed makeup for the event Like, Cardi B, like, was one of my favorites, um, like, for, like, outfit, but when I saw Kim's makeup, honestly, she looked so stunning, like, she looked like, like, a cat, I guess, because of, like, the inner corner, um, but she just looked bomb, like, she slayed, so I was, like, I saw that everybody on YouTube was recreating her look, and I was, like, you know what, like, let me recreate her look, like, like, it looks so bomb, and it came out really good, and I hope that this tutorial will help you guys. Um, if you guys don't follow me on social media, please follow me on my social media. It'll be down in the description box, like always. And if you want to see how I got Kim's look, then keep on watching. So I already have one eye already done. And I'm going to do the other eye on this side. And first we're going to take this uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And we're going to go in with this like light brown color. And we're going to take that into our crease. And we're taking this on a BH Cosmetics brush. And we're just going to go back and forth blending it into the crease. And we're going to use this color obviously in the crease but we're also going to use it as an all over shade on our lid because Kim K um obviously the whole look is focused on like the smoked out like black liner that she has so she didn't really have like any dramatic type of color in the crease so um I'm just you know taking this light color from the palette and I'm just gonna blend that into the and then I'm just gonna be blending it until or not like yeah blending it but we're also gonna be building up the color to the intensity that you would like um. Putting it all over and blending it. So now that we have all our transition color like build up into the crease and already all over our lid, we're now going to be taking this Italia Deluxe eyeliner and it's like the darkest shade it's in the color mocha and i'm just gonna be placing this on the outer lash line so like right here just like that and now we're going to be taking like this like Anastasia uh, brush, but we're going to be taking the flat end of the brush and we're just going to be like kind of flicking it out, like smudging it. But when you're flicking it out, you want to go lightly um, so that that way like you could get like that kind of whoosh effect, if that makes sense. looking like this but I'm gonna kind of build it up to get it darker now that 
I have your eyeliner smudged up like this, um, we're going to be taking the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to be placing this on top. And, okay, I'm really sorry if you guys see, like, my little compact here, but honestly, I need, like, small mirrors like this so that I could, like, really focus, like, on my eye up close. Um, and I have, like, this mirror, like, right here in front of me, but... I need something like up close so I'm really sorry if like it bugs like some of you that I have this little compact but your girl needs it like so I'm gonna be placing this liner on top just like that and we're not flicking it out or anything we're just putting this on top where we smudged out our liner this like tiny BH like smudge uh, pencil brush and we're just going to be like smudging it again the entire point of this look you guys is just smudging out your your product and then don't rush through it either you want to take your time and going with little product as well. So the eyeliner may seem to be coming off. So now what I'm going to be do, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm taking um the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be taking this dark black matte shadow you want to take any matte black shadow that you have like the darkest that you have and then you want to pack that color on to um where we put like our liner so you want to pack it on like this and then like making sure you get it on the outside too And then flicking it out a bit like that. Then you want to smudge it out again. Smoke it out. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that same Anastasia brush. But I'm going to take the, um, the fluffy side of it. And I'm going to blend it out like the outer, like the harsh line. And smoke it out. And if it seems like it's not blending out, go back in with that first transition color that we used. Just off the excess, and then just blend out the outer part. And now it should look like it's smoked out, just like that. And then you want to go in with that pencil brush again, go over the black um, go in again with the black shadow and then uh, build it up again because it might seem like the blending kind of took some of that color off so just go over just like that and then blend it out again Next, we're going to be taking again that black um, neck liner and we're going to be filling in the inner part of our eye. But we're not going to be doing yet like that tight cat eye type that Kim had. Um, we're going to be doing that last. But right now, we just want to put our eyeliner together. So. I'm gonna be just doing it like that. And then we're gonna take that black, um, this pencil brush. And then we're just, where the eyeliner and the shadows meet, we're gonna be blending it so it could just look seamless. 
like that. And now we're gonna be taking this uh this makeup remover wipe, and with the t you want with the tip of like my finger, just really gently, I'm gonna clean up underneath. And then you have like your liner. Just like that, you guys. Just like that. Um, so for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Violet Voss lashes. Uh, they look like this. They're really full, very wispy. Um, Kim Kardashian did have the Lily lashes in the style Goddess. I don't own any uh, Lily lashes, so I picked out the closest lashes that I had and... I haven't worn these and I just thought they would be so perfect for this look. As you could tell, they're really long, dramatic, wispy, my cup of tea. Um, so I'm going to be popping these on and then I'll come back and then I'll show you guys how um, you get a flawless, glowy base like Kim had for the Met Gala. I'm going to be taking the Benefit for Pearl Primer and... I'm just going to be putting this under, like, my eyes. And we're going to be taking it on the nose area because that's where I get oily. And I will kind of mattify it. So I'm just going to be blending it out. Um. Also for this look, you guys, you want to make sure... That you prep your skin. Kim did have a really glowy. Well she always has like this glow to her um, base. So you want to make sure that you wash your face. Um, if you need to exfoliate, exfoliate. Um, use products for this look that are going to make you look glowy and dewy. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, and now we're going to be taking the Smashbox coconut so chill coconut uh this was the collab with nicole concilio so i'm just gonna be spraying it <sighs> smells so good so bomb and we're just gonna let that sit in our face for a bit foundation we're gonna be taking the la girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Longwear Foundation. I got this while I was in Vegas at Makeup Shack, you guys. And it is so bomb, you guys. Like, it's really liquidy. But, like, with two pumps, you're, like, full coverage. And that's what we're going to go for today. But, you guys, like, it's so dewy, like... I love this foundation so much just because like it's so dewy and it's gonna go so perfect with today's look so uh, you want to blend it all the way out and down to your neck <laughs> pump and I'm just gonna go over like just this side of my face because I am now breaking out and I have no idea and it's kind of annoying but it is what it is do you guys see this dewiness oh my god I am living for it for concealer we're gonna take our Tarte Shape concealer and the shade light medium honey and we're going to be putting just a little bit under our eyes or maybe just conceal like Kim K because she's the queen of concealer and contour we're going to put a little bit on our nose on our cupid's bow on our chin on our forehead to highlight 
just like that. And then we're going to be taking some on our smile lines. Just like this. Not a lot, just a little. We look crazy. But we're now going to blend it out with our beauty blender. <laughs> trick from from i love sarai um but basically i saw her video of also doing the kim k um recreation of the her met gala look and i saw that like you know for a more like contoured look without using any contour like cream um i noticed that she used concealer and then she blended out and it just made her cheekbones like more chiseled and like pop out more like an contour but without any cream contour so I'm going to be using that technique that she did just like that like we're going to be bringing it up and then we're going to go like that <laughs> just going to blend out my concealer and then I'll come back just because I really want to be careful around our liner um I kind of want to sharpen the under part of the our shadow um so like I really want to be careful with it so I'll be back and then we'll set our face and all that good stuff so I'll be back so I already blended out my concealer and it's looking like this now so now we're going to be setting our face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and we're just going to be setting all the areas where we put our concealer. And we're also going to be baking our nose um, because I get oily around my nose area, so I'm going to bake it, put hella powder. gonna let like our under uh cheekbones like sorry my shirt i'm not gonna let like our under um baking uh, set there for too long I almost died oh my god I'm so sorry about that like oh my god so embarrassing <laughs> um so I'm not gonna let like our under baking sit there for too long so I'm just gonna dust it off like this <laughs> see that like kind of contour from the foundation but we're gonna leave it like that so while we're baking we're gonna now contour a little of our um cheekbones with the Too Faced bronzer and medium to dark chocolate and we're gonna be bron uh contouring a bit <laughs> For 
bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer with a big fluffy brush. Y'all know this is my holy grail bronzer. <laughs> Now that we're done bronzing up our face, and now it's time to remove this um baking powder. Now we're going to be contouring or bronzing up our nose. If you guys hear that noise, I'm so sorry because they're doing like some like yard work, but I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm going to be taking that same bronzer that we used at first and I'm going to be taking this brush and we're just going to contour a bit. I don't really like to like contour my nose that much just because I feel like it's just so much work but also I haven't really mastered it yet. So this is all that we're doing. For blush I'm going to be taking the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso because this is like the only br blush that I have. I'm just going to smile. And put on our cheekbones. <laughs> to lock in all the highlight th um, that we add, we're going to be going in with Max Fix Plus. Obviously, I need a new one because I'm running out. But your <sighs> girl is too cheap to buy a new one, so I'm just gonna be spraying um what whatever's left of this, uh, just because we're gonna you know want like. Everything everything that's powder that we added, we want all of it to be like melted into the skin. We want it all to look kind of like skin-like. Um, because Kim obviously has makeup on, but it looks like skin. So we're just going to be spraying this on to make us look flawless, but uh, dewy at the same time. So... Like, you guys see that? Like, how dewy it leaves you? So bomb. So, I already did the uh, smoked out part liner of this eye. And honestly, you guys, I kind of messed up. But I fixed it. Like, I ended up wiping it off and then fixing it again. So, don't mind this liner right here. I'm going to fix it. But, um, you're going to want to go in with... You're gonna wanna go in with your liner. And then you're gonna wanna put. So now we're gonna be taking a smudge pencil brush, going with a little bit of that black shade. And then you're gonna smudge out the liner and then to blend it out like for there to be no harsh line we're taking that Anastasia brush the end <laughs> we're gonna be taking our eyeliner and then let me get close I mean well like that you're gonna go from like wing it out a little bit like that <laughs> you have like that like eye look and then we're gonna go in with that black shade with this pencil brush So 
now that we're done with our eyes, we're gonna move on to our lips. And Kim had like this nude lip with like a brown outline. So I'm gonna go in with NYX lip liner and nude truffle. <laughs> For lips, we're first going to go in with Sand Nudes from the Too Faced Natural Collection. And then on top, we're going to go in with Skinny Dipping on top of Sand Nudes. So, I'm just going to apply these. But first, I'm going to open the package because I literally just got these. <laughs> like this like I don't think Kim had any lip gloss on but um I picked like some a lipstick that you know had a sheen to it and these lipsticks do have sheens to it so which goes <laughs> pretty nude and kind of shiny to it just like Kim had so um that's pretty much it for this look you guys um you know I did the hairstyle too with like you know that's half up let me fix it and I know I don't look like Kim but you guys like her Met Gala look was honestly one of the best makeup looks um that anybody had in my opinion um i hope this tutorial uh was helpful for you guys um if you did enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also make sure to turn on your notifications uh that way whenever i upload you guys won't miss my any of my videos and um let's grow our little family and I'll catch you guys for the next video.